Hey guys, Mr. B here, uh, giving you an example of implicit differentiation involving trig functions. Uh, so we're going to start with a pretty easy example, sine of y is equal to x. So we'll start exactly the same way that we work when we worked with, uh, you know, implicit functions when we were back doing derivatives earlier in the year. So we start out just by, you know, writing derivative of both sides. So d over dx uh, sine of y, it's a little messy, sine of y is equal to d over dx of x. So we have to take the derivative of both sides. So the tricky part of this is taking the derivative of sine of y. We know what the derivative of x is, just 1. So what you need to remember, of course, is that the derivative of sine is cos. So the first part we write is cos y. Then we need to multiply it by the derivative of y. Of course, we know the derivative of y with respect to x is just dy over dx. It's just basically the chain rule. Take the derivative of the first, then take the derivative of what you would call u. And then uh, we take the derivative of uh, x, which is just 1. So, uh, like I told you guys in class, we can easily rewrite that dy over dx as y prime, so cos times y prime is equal to 1. And then we want to write things in terms of y prime, so we divide both sides by cos y. So we end up with y prime is equal to 1 over cos of y. And not entirely necessary, but you could write this as secant y. So you get y prime is equal to secant y as your fine lines are. So this is a, you know, it's a typical example that help you get started with some uh, leading into more some complicated questions. So hopefully this helped and I will talk to you later. See you in class.